This simple picking exercise will help you pick those notes faster and cleaner and start combining your melody lines with your strumming. Welcome back to Relax and Learn Guitar. I'm Kevin and this is Maggie May getting her YouTube treats in so we have a smooth sailing video. My wife Vicki's behind the camera. Hello. Let's get started. So with any technical exercise, it's important to remember that a little bit goes a long way. Uh, doing this exercise just a little bit of time is going to help you do things, uh, maybe you're really good at strumming, or comfortable I should say, nothing wrong with strumming, but if you want to kind of move it to uh, adding in uh, melody lines and picking melodies while you're strumming, something like this maybe. There's a lot of things you can apply this to. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to play a G chord while we're kind of going through these exercises. But we're really going to focus on our picking hand. The thing we're going to get very used to is our strings and kind of where they are in relation to each other. So to start that, we're going to start here on the sixth string. I want you to pick down up, down up on the sixth string. Oh, let's get a chord down here. And then go to the fifth string. Fourth, third, second, and first. And just back down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Get really used to how that feels and kind of where your wrist is. My picking action is happening from moving my wrist. I'm not really moving my arm. And you'll see as I'm going down the strings, my hand's slowly kind of going down, you know, moving down the bridge here. And you can take this really slow if you need to. Just be really intentional when you're doing this. Once you've kind of got these four, you know, down up, down up on each string, we're gonna speed things up and we're just gonna do a down up on each string. So we have this. And then back down. It's okay that they look at the strings when they do it. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's kind of like, or concentrating. That's why you only need to do a little bit at a time. So you really want to concentrate and, and pay attention to this picking hand. Make sure those strokes are, you know, very, uh, I want to say full, you know, intentional, not kind of wimpy, <laughs> you know, or whatever you want to really, really deliberate. <laughs> deliberate. Perfect. That's the word for the day. Now, once you're kind of getting used to that, you've kind of gone through the four you know, down and up, and the two down and up, which is obviously, as you get more comfortable, it's gonna go faster. Now we're gonna skip around the strings a little bit. We're gonna go, um, we'll do the four. We'll do down, up, down, up on the sixth string, then the fourth, the fifth, the third, the fourth, the second, the third, the first. Reverse, three, two, four, three, five, four, six. Now that one takes a little more concentration and deliberateness. <laughs> is, that, is that the right word? But you want to kind of start there and then what next logical step was we're just going to do a down up on each of those strings, skipping, skipping a string each time. So six, four, five, three, four, two, three, one. One, three, two, four, three, five, four, six. And like I said, you want to do this slowly at first. There's no, there's no, uh, like gold medal for doing it fast. <laughs> so you just want to be uh, nice and steady with it. If you really want to challenge yourself, try doing this with your eyes closed. If you're doing that, then you're really kind of becoming more aware of where you're, more aware, yeah, more aware of where your hand is. 
Let's see if I can close my eyes and do this one. So that could be something to really challenge yourself to uh, just be in tune with your picking hand. So there's just a quick tip, a simple picking exercise. Doing a little bit uh, will go a long way, so enjoy that. Uh, next, you can check out this lesson I did on getting stronger, faster fingers and some exercises for that. Uh, until the next time, remember that Vicki and Maggie and I very much appreciate your views and your support here on YouTube. And uh, also remember that you're never too old to learn. So we'll see you for the next one. Thank mm -hmm. you.